I'm just getting ready to take my sled up to my buddy's house now to do a little bit of maintenance on it before our trip across the aisle in snowmobiling next week. We're going to give the uh, hybrid Maverick here its first towing test. It's rated for 2,000 pounds in the package that I have here. And I'm guessing what I have there is about 1,000 uh, pounds, give or take. So we'll see how that goes. Nobody into the driveway. Please. Oh. Don't. I'm going to film the camera like this, so I need you to stay behind. So this is my first attempt at towing with the Maverick. I don't generally tow a whole bunch of weight. And, uh, mostly it's an ATV and uh, ATV or a Skidoo or something along those lines. So my machines weigh, they're well less than a thousand pounds. With a trailer or a Skidoo and ATV, probably a thousand pounds. Sometimes we'll have Devlin's in the back, but we don't have that today. We're just towing a single trailer. And right now, I don't even know it's back there, but we'll see when we get up on a couple of hills. Couple of hills. So we've been driving for a little while now, and it feels pretty good. I you can feel a little bit of tongue weight in the back of the truck. I think the truck is actually down a little bit, not a whole lot. But it's still running on hybrid here. We're not going on the highway here, so the vehicle is actually still running in in the uh, running off the batteries, which is a bonus. And I don't think there's going to be any real issue towing this, as long as the road conditions are good and stuff. And later on, when we get a little bit of snow, we'll see what it's like with the front wheel drive. first trip towing with the hybrid Maverick here and uh, I gotta say no issues it just pulled along my thousand pound load and I got a hundred pounds or 150 pounds in the back and I've had no issues dry road conditions a little bit damp but not too bad but uh, other than that no issues I'm just backing up the trailer here now and I gotta say it's been a long time since I backed up with a front-wheel drive and I gotta say, it's probably a little bit easier than backing up with the rear wheel drive. I don't know why that makes a difference, but. I know why. Because your front wheels tone, right? Yeah. So the power is out on the front toning. Oh, and that makes it easier to back up, you think? Yeah. Oh, good point. Whatever it is, I can tell you that it's pretty good. So yeah, we didn't drive too far today, but we just did our little tow here with a bit of gear we got and stuff, dropping the skidoo off at my friend's house. As you can see in the back of the truck there, there's not a whole lot in the back, but I don't know, there's a couple of jerry cans and a couple of jerry cans and some odds and ends. Dad? And, yes Devlin? You said we've been towing for a while, now you're saying we just had a short tow. Yeah, no, a little short tow. So Devlin's uh, straightening out my, my speech here. But yeah, we got a little bit of stuff in the back of the truck and this, so this is my skidoo that I towed here with my hybrid Maverick with the 2.5 liter four cylinder. No issues on a little bit of slightly wet road conditions. I think uh, if it all holds up like that, it's going to do my needs just fine. So that was our first little experience towing with the hybrid Maverick here, the 2022. 
Uh, most of the weight that I tow is ATVs and a little bit of building material and stuff. It's generally less than 2,000 pounds. So I had no issues at all today. We didn't go a big long distance, but it was enough. There were some hills and turns, the usual driving. And the little Maverick here, I gotta say, I had no issues with it. I'm looking forward to giving it a try in some slippery road conditions when we get a little bit of snow down. I'll update you when we do. And in the meantime, make sure that you're subscribed to Angling and Arrows and hit the notification buttons because we're gonna be doing some more updates. I think the next one will probably be uh, some of the interior features and the instrument cluster. And Devlin may post a little quiz on the Ford Mavericks as well that he can do with a little program he has in his Google Classroom. So make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned everybody.